everyone. So I've been awake about an hour. I am so unbelievably tired. Even though I've had about eight, around eight hours sleep. Um, eight, yeah, eight. Some of it was broken at the beginning. I'm absolutely exhausted. I finished editing a video and uploaded it overnight and I just filled out the description box now because recently when I've been uploading videos I've been filling out the description box because a lot of the time I'm literally finishing editing, saving and uploading to the channel so it's on my channel ready to go and I've been doing the description box so I can remember what's in it because if I don't do it and then I go to do it like three days later I'm thinking what the hell's in this video and I can't fill the description box out as well without like quickly looking at it so I did that and then I made a video live because I actually forgot to put a vlog up yesterday the plan was to put one up and I totally forgot I think last time I filmed was when I was in the bath and I was going to lie back for 20 minutes and then I was going to like shave my legs etc oh when I went back well I was going to lie back or maybe just sit there and edit for 20 minutes then I was going to shave my legs and whatever else and then I was going to edit for about 10 more minutes relax for 5 and then get out so I started editing and I did about 5 minutes and I heard a bin being moved outside and it, it's been day to day I was like, that sounds really close to my house. It can't be my dad. I didn't leave his car. So I looked on the camera and it was my dad. And he hadn't parked outside like he'd been doing. He'd parked on the driveway, which isn't out the front of the house. So I didn't hear him come home. So I dived out the bath and went and basically got in the shower. Oh, as I was walking up the stairs, I realised I'd left the keys in the front door. So I texted him. I was like, the keys. I think the keys are in the front door. The back door's open, so he went round the back. The dog had been basically sat outside, so luckily I'd opened the back door because if I hadn't, he wouldn't have been able to get in. So I would have had to go downstairs. I was soaking wet through, so I only got about 10 minutes maximum in the bath. And I'm glad I didn't put in a, a nice bath bomb. I just put that in. It didn't even really smell of anything once it had dissolved. So, and it was a, like a brownie red colour. I don't understand why they're all going brown. I just don't. So that's basically what happened. I come up and had a shower, went down and I cooked. I did, oh, I think I showed you, I did the peri-peri. No, it weren't peri-peri. It was like the garlic with loads of vegetables. And I was tired. I watched Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. And came up to bed about one. Still awake at three. And that's kind of it. So you didn't really miss much. So I remembered about the vlog around one. Well, around midnight-ish. And I was like, I'm not going to put it up now. I'll wait till today. So about ten minutes ago, I made it live. It's the one about being inspired by Johnny Depp. Well, his words kind of inspired me. And I think that's one of the reasons I got better, you know, because I was really unwell. I think because I was just totally inspired by him. It just somehow worked. Probably won't work next time, but... Also, I have been suffering with headaches. I've got a headache again. I had a headache... I had a headache a lot of yesterday. Um, and it's not fun having headaches. They're not as bad as it was Monday, Tuesday, but it's still there. So I'm still classing it as the migraine because it's not fully gone. I don't know why. Normally if I get a migraine, it's because I'm coming down with something. And normally either by the end of the same day or the early hours of the following day, I'm getting really ill. But I haven't particularly got really ill. I don't feel great, but I think that's to do with the headache. Oh, a migraine, and I don't normally have them this long, so I don't know why or what's going on. But 
I still have some 300 microgram. Oh, this 600s. 600 microgram paracetamol ibuprofen. Oh, this 600s. I can't even remember. Um, I found another five or six, and I had one yesterday, and I'm gonna have one today when I take. I'm gonna basically take diacetylcholine, paracetamol, and ibuprofen at the same time, and hope for the best. But I'm gonna go and have a quick shower. And then put my pyjamas on. <laughs> and then I'm going to go down. I'm going to have something to eat. going to have something to drink. My milk is super low. I only allow myself to have two pints of milk a week in hot drinks. Some weeks I fly through it. And some weeks I don't even drink half of it. But I think I had enough left for one coffee or tea today. I'm hoping I've got enough for two. Because I want... I don't know. If there's only enough for one, I'll have coffee. If there's enough for two drinks, I'll obviously have a coffee and a tea. And I'd have the tea first. Whereas now, if there's only enough for one, I'll have my coffee with my migraine, which may make it worse. But I thought I'd start the video. I started editing, um, I think it's Tuesdays. Because I woke up about a four o'clock. Didn't realise what time it didn't realise what time it was and started editing Tuesday and I was like oh my god it looks like a buddy said a lot on Tuesday I might even split it into two videos no I won't I'll just get it in one I just can't be bothered so I may have got distracted by TikTok then I had a shower and actually, as I was walking to the shower, I was like, should I get dressed today? Like, not wear pyjamas. And I didn't know what to pick. And then I originally picked out a pair of leggings and this top. I've not worn this top in such a long time. Hello. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, Chloe. Hello. What's you doing, beautiful girl? Hello, oh, gorgeous. What are you doing, Chops? Chops is a nickname, Girly Chops. Because when she lies down on her back, her mouth flops open. She's got these big chops here, haven't you? Hey? Yeah. Oh, stretch it out, Bubba. Oh. Oh. Gorgeous. We're going to go downstairs. So, yeah. Um, my fitted jogging bottoms on and yeah because I changed my mind last minute also I've been dying to come downstairs because I'm pretty sure I heard the door knock hours ago I'm not sure if I imagined that or not yeah I know I heard this post come through the door um, about half an hour ago or an hour ago. Is it just me who doesn't like getting letters? That isn't too bad. <laughs> I hate getting letters unless it's a bill. Obviously, I don't like getting bills because who does? But when it's just addressed to you and it's handwritten, I don't want to show my address. It's like, oh my God, who's it off? What have I done? <laughs> Not what have I done, but there is a letter that I got told was going to be sent a month ago and it hasn't and I don't want it to I'm not going to say what it is um, I 
guess I need to see if there's anything outside. I'm sure I heard someone knocking on the door. Unless I've completely lost my mind. one's bin but the other two bins are not outside so if there was a delivery I don't know where it is guitar fix this was shoved in the letterbox so did I actually hear someone knocking on the door or did I imagine it I think I bought these on Sunday and it's Thursday Um, this wasn't cheap actually, this wasn't cheap, um, because you get a pick holder that's got double sided sticky tape on, I'm guessing you stick it to your guitar but there's no way I'm sticking that to my guitar, you can put your picks in, I think I've got a range of sizes, because I don't know what size I want, I don't know if I want a thick heavy one which I don't think I do because there's not much durability to them, or if I want a thin one, but I don't think I want a super thin one because it'll break easily and it won't give enough power. So I've got a 0 0.81, another 0 0.81, a 0 0.96, these are my meters, not liters, a 1.2, a 0.71. That's quite thin, I don't think I like that. Two of that size. Oh, there's a 0 0.58, another one. I think there's two of each size. Another 96. I'm just putting them in order. And then a 1.5. Riveting viewing, I know. So I think this one is the thinnest. There's no way I'm gonna like that, that's just going to break quite easily. So I think the 5.8s are going to be in all. Now the 7.1, again, it's too thin. See, I don't even play guitar, but I know that is too thin for me. Then there is the 8.1, which is a lot better. I think the next size or whatever is that up next is going to be the one that I'm probably going to use. And that size is a 96, 0 0.9, yeah. I think that is the one. It bends still. Because after that's a 120. No, definitely a 96. I mean, that's who I start learning. I've not decided if I will or won't. I just bought some guitar picks because I didn't have any. And there's so many to choose from and some of them come in massive packs and it's like do I need a massive pack not that many of these here 10 maybe and then I got a pick holder and that's where if you're playing you can grab one really quickly let's put some in that I'm not going to use how many is it all oh, just one Not exactly easy to get out. Oh yeah, you can get more than one in. I just thought, God, is it going to pull them all out when I try and take them out? But no, it takes the top one out of that out. So I've got three in there. Anyway, so that's what came. But deafmusic.com, co.uk. I did get them on Amazon. Two ninety nine, I think it was, including delivery. So yeah, that's what I got. I need to pick that up. I've got a bad back again. Anyway, so I've got jogging bottoms on basically, but now I'm thinking I'm too hot. But I'm not eating or drank today yet, and it's three o'clock. Did someone actually knock on my door?
it does say to leave the pass holes. See, this was posted Monday, because I know who it's off now, and it's Thursday in the second class. So I'm guessing it's off the people that are writing that letter that I don't agree with. Um, I got told, I well, when I spoke to this person, they said I got told I would get the same letter as they're sending out to that other person. And then, of course, when I spoke to them Tuesday, they were like, no, you don't get a copy of the letter. So I don't even get to see what people are actually saying about me, which I think is wrong. Don't you? So I, I literally just tanned my face because all my face tan has gone, but I'm not doing my body till the next time I wash my hair because it's still very patchy on my body. Although, oh God in here I where did that fall down as you can see which tree crap they were in here when we moved in to be honest how the hell did it fall down and I can't even get over there because there's so much crap next door's out there's so much stuff in here Somehow managed to get it back up, but I think it's not safe. Oh, it's hot in there, Clee. So yeah, I did my face, and now I can't put any face cream on for about half an hour. And then I can because I don't like not having face cream on. I don't like the way my skin feels. So I put hoops in because I thought, seeing as I'm going for this kind of walk, I might as well. But I think next time I go upstairs, which will be to do my face cream, I'm probably I need a hand cream. I'm probably going to put on my leggings because it's warmer than I thought. I always do this. I either overdress like too many layers or underdress as in, where's my hand cream gone? I'm sure my hand cream was on there. Am I staring at it? Do you ever do that where you stare at something and you think you can't see it? It's definitely not on there. So where have I put it? I knocked it off. Where's the hand cream? My computer. Oh, it's on the floor. Must have fallen off. Um, this is the other one that I've got. I wrote in the latest in beauty box. And it's lovely. It smells amazing. It's very citrus, but like a natural citrus, not the artificial citrus. Um, citrus scent you can get. Oh, I can smell these freshly cut oranges. It's gorgeous. So yeah, I've got a bad habit of either wearing not enough layers and I'm too cold or having too many layers on. But I so, I'm going to put some face cream on in a bit. I've become increasingly anxiety. Oh god. I've learnt the, learnt the lost the will to Oh, my anxiety is through the roof. It's just all of a sudden sat here doing nothing and I feel super anxious and I don't know why. Because nothing's happened, no one's done anything. I just had a coffee, but literally I've only just had it. Like, it wouldn't cause me to feel anxious literally the second I've drank it. Like, I drank it like 30 seconds before I started filming. That's not going to make me anxious. I'm dying to put face cream on. Um, I've had these ages, but I got them from ASOS, if you want to know. I think they were about £6. I want to change that to a hoop. I want that to be a hoop, but I can't get it out. And I mean, I know how to get it out, and I want this to go back to being a bar. And I know how to get it out. You use wire cutters. Not that I've got any. I think my dad will do. Because these once before, I used to have my tragus pierced. Still got a dent there where it was. Um, and I couldn't get the bar out and my dad cut it out. So the tan will start to work. I, I did it about an hour ago. 
can't find my hair is I've not cut it yet. Um, I did buy some vitamins last night. I've used these before. They're called what are they called? I used to take them. If you remember two years ago when I made myself really ill with them because I ate them on an empty stomach and I had to go and lie down because I thought I was going to throw up. I've got some of them. The 18 pound a pack, but at the moment at Boots it's free for two, which works out quite cheap. But on Amazon, the 13 pound, let's say 13.50. So it does cost more to get free on Amazon, but I wanted to just get one pack to just test them for a month and if they're free for two still on boots when I've been taking them for a month and I'm happy with the results because obviously my hair is not just going to grow back it's going to have to grow from the root obviously but I'm hoping what's in it will stop it from snapping because my hair is literally half the thickness that it was it's not even snapping it's literally coming out of the roots so I bought them yesterday and they're going to be delivered tomorrow um, but I was going to get the free for two from Boots, even though yeah it's expensive, it's like £38, but I would have got three months supply, because things like that take around six weeks to start working, eight weeks to twelve to start showing a, a good difference, but I'm going to take them for a month and if they're still on three for two, I'll get them because it's worth it to get the Boots points because I'm trying to get my boots points up because I want to get the Dyson Air app and I want to use my points um, and you're not allowed to put money too unfortunately you can't like put £200 worth of points towards it and then put the cash to it you have to use the points and my points are like something like £60 or something actually I'll check and I'll come back and tell you flying, here, flying around in circles the wasps flew at me a minute ago and I dived across the room. I need to put leggings and so or something else on. It's 20 degrees outside. Don't feel it in, in here, but I just checked and I've got 56 pounds worth of points. And I've got, um, I had about 40 something at when I started this year. And when I've been buying recently, I've been using like vouchers if you spend 20 pounds you get so many points and last night when I put the vitamins in my basket I ended up with something like 700 points which is seven pounds but I'm not going to get that one um, at the time being for the time being but I just checked and the three for two is until a month from now I think it ends the 25th of May so I can take those tablets for a month and then get the three for two if I want Hopefully by then I'll have some more boots vouchers, like Advantage card vouchers. But I've decided that I'm going to get the Revlon version of the Her, Her, Her app. It's got loads of amazing reviews. It's 59.99, and I'm not far off. I think what I buy next will push my points total over the £60 mark. But... I'm not going to buy it at the moment just because of what's going on with my hair but I don't like the hair dryer that I've got so I'm probably going to buy a hair dryer because I feel like the one that I've got damages my hair and it's I've had it two and a half years now and that's the only thing that changed around the time that my hair started snapping in, like two years ago when it first started snapping why is that fly it's flying around the um Light shade, it's just going doo, 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 doo. the wasp is over the living room door area. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use my points as soon as I get to 60 pounds because I want to have some left. So, I'm gonna try and get to around 70 ish or 65. Like, I want to have some points left basically. Hi everyone, so I didn't come upstairs until about half an hour ago, I got on with some things, I did some stuff on my phone because what is a day without me messing around on my phone and dying for a drink, you can probably hear it when I'm talking, 
there's nothing more annoying than that sound so I've not done anything to the back of my hair I put at it last night just took the put out and brushed the bottom bit there's a lot of hair product in for some reason I put tons of product in yesterday so it's probably going to need washing Saturday rather than Sunday all I've done is just straighten my fringe and straighten this bit I came upstairs I didn't do you know, I was dying to put moisturiser on, I didn't until half six um, and then I've just done a full face of makeup, I've even put bronzer on, I don't know if I showed you this, I'm pretty sure I've put this in a vlog but basically I've used all three products on my face and I've done eyeshadow, eyebrows, lashes and lipstick. And that's because in it's upside down. I got it in a race and beauty box ages ago and I always forget to wear it and it'll probably come off very soon anyway and these will probably go behind my ears and then at some point I'll show them in my ponytail which will turn into a messy bun. But <laughs> I can look half decent when I try and I'll tell you what foundation I'm loving at the moment when I'm tanned is the True Match by L'Oreal but I've had it ages and I used to wear it a lot and then I got the wrong shade I wear rose vanilla and I got vanilla rose which is more yellow tone so when I don't tan I can't really wear it every now and then I'll mix it with my light foundation but when I've been putting makeup on recently that's what I've been using on my face and my dad's just got home. My phone's been on charge because the battery was about to go. So I'm gonna go and cook. And I didn't take, take the leggings off either. <coughs> Is it Mr. Giraffe? <coughs> yeah, you got a new one. <coughs> what have you got? She's in love. <coughs> what have you got? I got a new one. You killed the last one. <laughs> you caught you. Is that Mr. Giraffe? Hey, Mr. Giraffe number two. You lasted two years, didn't you? You did really well. Really well made. Someone's happy. What have you got? She had the other one for two years. And you finally killed him, didn't you? The squeaker went. So she's not been playing with him as much. And she's been playing with the other ones. But they're not as good as that. I originally got it from... TK Maxx and then I found out TK Maxx are closed so I managed to find one online slightly a bit more than TK Maxx prices but she's happy now aren't you? Mm -hmm. she loves squeaky toys you finished? <laughs> Take him upstairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you love him. He's your fave. <laughs> Patax and time for a drink. Oven baits. Vibrant with this delicious, delicious tandoori. Um. 100 grams of chicken. What have we got? A kilogram, half a pack. I've just lit my subscription candle, not this month's. Last month's, I'm saving this month's for a weekend treat. Um, as you can see, it has evened itself out. There you go.
So it's five in the morning. The birds are singing. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear. And it's getting light. I wanted to go to sleep over two hours ago. But I'm stressed out, upset, confused. <sighs> Had enough, fed up, just want to give up. Because I went on to order a prescription because I only had one letter of order. I ordered three yesterday and I thought I better go on, order it so it gets approved and I can have them all today. Friday, it's Friday now, it's early hours of Friday, well 5am. Some people get up at this time. I should have been asleep for two hours but no. So I went on and the three that I ordered yesterday have been rejected. And I don't know why, because they're free of my main medications. There's no reason why no one contacted me. You would think if the doctor is rejecting your medication that you've been on for a year or two years, depending on which one it is. I know I've been on the mole at least for a year, some longer. You'd think if there was an issue, the doctor would actually phone you and say, well, I'm not giving you this one because of such and such, and you're not having this one because of this reason, and you're not having this because of this reason. But no, no phone call, nothing, just being rejected, and I was actually due them all yesterday. So I don't know why they've been rejected. Last time something got rejected was when, was it? Yeah, four weeks ago, yesterday, Thursday, my doctor decided to not only reject my painkiller, but also then take it off my list, even though I've been on long-term pain relief for about three and a half years now. And she just suddenly, all of a sudden, she not only let me have it two weeks after she took it off me, she put it back on my list, and that was two weeks ago, yesterday. And every time I order a prescription, no matter what it is, it always gets accepted including that one that she took me off and took it off my list and then put it back on after two weeks. And then, obviously, they know that that medication that they rejected yesterday was actually due yesterday. So the fact that they've rejected three of them, and they're all very important ones, I get very ill without them, you would think the doctor would phone and say I've rejected it because of such and such a reason or I need to speak to you about such and such before I give it to you but no, no message, nothing, just rejected it. So I've applied for those three again plus the fourth one which I was due to apply for, for today, to have today and I've put, don't know why it's been rejected, can I please have my medication, I need it, I've run out and that's basically what I've said. If it gets rejected again, it's probably going to upset me. Well, it's obviously upset because I've been awake for another two hours trying to work out why they've rejected three of my main medications and not contacted me about it. 